Hey friends, I hope you're safe. Tonight, there is something in the well. It's the perfect night for another indie horror game, but instead of describing the game to you like I usually do, I would like to read to you the description on the itch.io page. June 25th, 1983. This is when it began. Something stirs in the backwoods of Montana. It starts slowly, almost unnoticeable against the sounds of the untamed wilderness. But one night, there can be no doubt. Something is outside trying to get in. This game has two endings and we will be getting both today, so I'm excited. Hopefully it's something we all enjoy. Before we get started though, I would like to take a little bit of time today and talk about overthinking. It's something that likely many of us have gone through to varying degrees, but sometimes severe overthinking can lead to a lot of problems to the point where it basically can affect your entire day. I want you to think of the process of overthinking as a feedback loop. In each spot along the loop, there are things that have to happen in order for the path to continue. Basically, the best way to stop overthinking is to find a way to break that cycle. Even if it's just something small, especially if it's just something small. The more opportunities you can find to break that cycle, the better your chances of getting out of that loop. I hope I wasn't being too general. I hope I made sense. I love you guys. With that being said, here is something in the well. And right out the gate. Okay. 1983, remember, so... Wow, look at that. That almost looks like a painting. Like something you hang on your wall in a log cabin. I mean, I know it is a log cabin, but... It's honestly beautiful. I, I can hear something trying to break in. Or something knocking at... A door or something like that. They're they're really giving us no opportunity to What? We have a night vision toggle. Oh wow. The lighting is so good in this game that they're actually able to use the night vision is a gameplay mechanic. Okay, we can shut doors. So what's going on here? Um... Hey, buddy! There's something outside trying to break in? Let me go ahead and turn that off first. Don't know why that would have been on. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing to initiate the transition, if I'm even doing anything. Buddy? Well, we don't know where Fido is. Is that where we park our car? Okay. Oh, the date has changed. This is actually July 9th now, same year. But the date has changed. This night vision's... Spectacular. Okay, so I think the best course of action is to... Follow the trail into the woods. Not sure what we're gonna find. But something was knocking on the door. And judging by the dates changing... This is something that's been happening to our character for many nights. Um, and I guess... I guess it got through the fence. Our dog obviously wants to investigate. I wonder if it was always pounding on that door or... If it was knocking on random parts of the house. What is this? Molly's Collar. Do we go into the well here? Yes. Well, which way do I go? I don't know which way to go. Um... Let's start with this way. Ok, 
Okay. I have no idea... I'm not going back in there. That's where we came from? So we found our way through a series of passageways in the well. We can't turn the night vision off and this is what it looks like. I mean, it's pitch black outside. The moon isn't even able to guide us. So this is a big church in the middle of the forest that is this church even accessible other than the well it looks like it's surrounded on all sides by a wall so how do people get in here interesting that's pretty suspicious um I wonder if this church is still being used. Hello? The candles are lit, so that would imply it is being used. What is this? This looks like a sacrificing table. No, this is not like a normal church. And it looks like many sacrifices have been, you know, performed here. That looks like dried blood, and that looks like fresh blood. So what's hiding underneath the church? What the hell? Is that the skull of a dog or some sort of an animal? What was chained up here? Wait, what? It's a dead end. Yeah, there's no other path. Did I miss something? Alright, let me go back upstairs and... Double check if I missed anything. What the hell is- th Oh! No! No! Where am I? I'm in the forest? Am I running from something? Is- is the thing here? Oh, the tape's getting distorted- Oh no! What is that? No bodies were ever found. Police discovered camcorder footage on... I think that's July 21st, 1983. Damage to the tape rendered it useless. I think it said the tape was never released to the public. Inspired by the infamous Hathaway tapes procured by Montana State Police. This is based on a true story? Interesting. Huh. Well, we gotta get the second ending after all. I'm gonna try going the other way in uh, the well. Okay, so back on the first night, we can see the doggy this time. Um. 
the hell is this? One out of five dog statues collected? Is that how we get the second ending? Okay, so we need to look for dog statues then. Is there like one per night or something? Or like what are we what what are we dealing with here? Okay. We definitely have a limited amount of time, so I'm gonna kinda speed through this part. And look for another dog statue. I'm assuming that's how we get the next ending. Because otherwise, I don't know what it would be. One out of five. Something's gotten her worked up. Well, I don't know where the other ones are. Maybe the other dog statues are... Like, around the house? Hmm. Okay, can we look for anything here? Dog statues, dog statues. I think this is where we can go outside now, but I'm gonna try going out the front door and seeing if that can do anything. I'm still kind of blown away that this is actually based on a true story in some way. Bingo, two out of five dog statues collected. And bingo, something's destroyed the electrical box Oh, can't leave without Molly, so we can see some stuff going on around here. Is there a dog statue in the trunk, maybe? No. So nothing we can do there. I feel like there's more. Although I don't remember seeing the dog statue during the first playthrough out that door. Because I remember opening that door, right? Okay. So, anyways, we need to probably stay focused here. If you guys see a dog statue, yell out at the screen. I'll definitely be able to hear you. Trust me. The night vision kind of blur makes it a bit tricky to kind of see. But hopefully they're not like Ridiculously well hidden for no reason. Okay, that's the collar. Aha! Okay. Okay, okay. So I doubt they're just like sitting here in the middle of the grass. I'm sure the other two are going to be down here. Okay. Into the well we go. We're gonna go the other way this time. See if that makes a difference. This really is a pretty cool game. I'm glad I played it. I hear footsteps. I wonder if it really, like, doesn't matter where you go. Like, eventually... I have no clue where I am. I feel like I'm walking in circles. And I don't know if there's... Like, technically anything down here? Okay. Alright, so... There's another one. Cool. I'm assuming the last one is in the church. Or behind the church. Um... So I'm going to check behind here. I wonder why we're getting statues of the dog. You know? It makes me really wonder what the second ending is going to be. Like, does Molly come back and attack the monster or something and save us? Like, what's going on? Okay, I don't think there's any just outside here in the woods, so... I'm going to go ahead and take a risk and open this up. We're going to check every pew. No dog. Oh! And bingo was his name. Oh. Five out of five collected. So we're going to go down here. Do, do, do. 
Yep. Par for the course. Shouldn't not uh, I don't think any secret entrance is open or anything like that. We got the five statues though. So what now? I ask. There's our friend. Hey buddy. What the hell is that? I wanted to get a good look at him this time. Okay. So we're gonna run. This is different, actually. Second ending? What? UFO abduction. Is this going to be like the dog ending in Silent Hill? Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Hey, puppy! I was placed diagonally from that other dog, so it'd be harder to notice. We use the same 3D model. Great! Hey, buddy! What's up, gamer? You're safe from... We're going to the dog planet. The trip will take seven days or one human day. Our ship is a little sparse. What do you expect from a five minute long indie horror game? Um, I think it was a, a toss? Atasaya or something like that? Atasaya. Is that what that thing is called? Okay. Well, hello everybody. Hey! Our dog's fine. Thank you for always taking care of me, human. Now it's my turn to take care of you. Where are we going? Talk to me again when you're ready to go. Uh, I think we've talked to the other dogs plenty. Let's get out of here. Wow. Silent Hill reference. And then you all flew to the dog planet and you lived happily ever after. The end. That was awesome. That's so funny. What a great reference. Um, honestly, this game is fantastic. And I'm really curious about the Hathaway tapes. Procured by the Montana State Police. That this game was based on. That is absolutely fascinating to me. So I did a bit of digging and I could not find anything about any tapes called the Hathaway tapes. Like nothing anywhere. I'm thinking maybe it's not based on a true story. I'm gonna keep doing some digging and maybe I can put some new information like in a short or something down the road if I find anything. But if you guys hear about anything, please let me know. As always, thank you guys for joining me. This game was stellar in my opinion. I love you guys very much. Please be safe and I'll see you in the next one.